Hi everybody, we're just about to do a science experiment today and we thought we'd let you have a quick peek. We've been reading from the book Mixtures and Solutions by Louise and Richard Spilsbury and we've been learning about what makes something soluble. We learned that there are solutes and solvents. What is a solute, sweetie? A uh, solute is a um, solid that you are, or a gas, that you are trying to dissolve in a liquid. Okay, so it's whatever you're trying to dissolve. And what is going to be our solute in today's experiment? It is going to be sugar. How much sugar? Um, two and a fourth. No, quarter cup. Quarter. Everybody has a quarter cup of sugar. All right, and so what is a solvent, son? A solvent is the liquid that you are trying to uh, dissolve the solute with. In this case, it's water. Okay, so everybody solute, has sugar. everybody has a so cup of water in their glasses. Okay, so every good science experiment has a control group. And down here at the end on number one is our control group. What's in our control group, son? Um, no regular normal water a cup of normal water and a quarter cup of normal sugar so that's our control okay the rest of our groups are experimental groups so number two why is yours an experimental group what's different about it well it's well i have the same thing as number one down here and well but i have a water and sugar but i'm gonna stir it up and that's called applying pressure and we learned that if you apply pressure to a solute, you can help it dissolve in the solvent faster. So he's going to be applying pressure by using a spoon. Okay, now number three has a different experimental part. What's your experimental part? Mine is, I don't have a spoon like him, number two, but I, my water isn't normal water like theirs. It's very hot. It, we boiled the water first. So your experimental piece is heat. Number two, we're going to be applying pressure. Number three, we're going to be heating the solvent. What about you, sweets? How is yours different? Well, I'm going to do a combination of both two and three. So my water is very hot and I'm going to be stirring it. Okay, so she's a little bit more experimental. Now, out of all of the groups, one, two, three, four, which one do you think, we're going to make a hypothesis here, which one do you think will dissolve the solute the fastest? What do you think, son? I think that number four, hers will dissolve the fastest because one, she has hot water and she is going to apply pressure. So she has a combination of two different methods. Now what about two and three? You each have an experimental part to your um, your cup. One is pressure and the other is heat. Which one do you think out of two and three will dissolve faster? You have a guess? I think it will be number two because you can stir it really quickly and maybe a lot quicker than hot water. Hot water still dissolves it more quickly, but you can't touch it. But with number two, you can actually touch it and you can stir it really fast. Because we learned that um, a solute will dissolve faster if the atoms are moving faster, right? So maybe applying pressure and stirring it with a spoon will make it move faster? Well, we'll see. All right, so on the count of three, I'm gonna have you dump your quarter cup of sugar into your cup of water. And as soon as you see that all your sugar is dissolved, I want you to say done. And we'll see whose cup um, has is more soluble. Remember, number two, you have to stir. Okay, as soon as you dump your sugar, you start stirring. You too, number four. All right, ready? Go. Watch. Oh, I spilled. It's okay. Watch for it to dissolve. Now, number one, you're not doing anything. You just let it rest in your cup, and we'll see. So there's number one. Oh, that's a lot of light. Number two. Number three, kind Done. of. Oh, number four. Oh, kind of. Keep stirring. It's still a little cloudy in there. I just sent to the bottom. Number four. Done! Done! I think number four was done. You still have some at the bottom, number two. I, Keep mine stirring. Didn't, whoa, whoa. Mine just... Wait, mine's going to the bottom. 
Yep, don't spill it. Put it down. All right, everybody stop. Done. So out of the four cups, look at them. We know that number four was the fastest and that number two was the second fastest. Look what happened to number three. It kind of sank to the bottom, but you can see that some of it did dissolve. But down here at number one, where the water was regular temperature, what happened to the sugar? Um, just fell to the bottom. Just no. fell to the bottom. If we were to leave that sugar for the rest of the day, what do you think would happen? It would eventually dissolve. I think it probably would eventually dissolve because the atoms would circulate around and it would start to dissolve, but it would take a while. Thanks, guys. You did a great job.